can't do what I used to do. And I have to recognise that and acknowledge it. Scunthorpe nurse Sue Snelson in 2021 and today recovering from long COVID. My arms tend to hurt when I'm doing things. When I'm moving about, it's my legs more, but obviously when I'm doing these sort of things, it's my arms that, you know, sort of take the strain. In what's been a long journey. At one point, they said that my oxygen levels were incompatible with life. I was totally unaware that I was in intensive care. And on the morning that I did wake up, and I looked around and saw familiar faces in uniform. I just thought, what on earth am I doing here? And I actually said that to one of the nurses. And they said, don't you realise how ill you've been? Yes, COVID. For some, a mild illness. For others, severe symptoms or worse. Your COVID Recovery is a website designed to help you recover from the long-term effects of coronavirus. Sue was first taken ill in 2020, and it's now been almost three years on her road to recovery. Obviously, I've improved quite a lot from what I was when I left hospital. It's been very gradual, but I now can do more than I could. I still don't do any heavy housework. You know, I have a cleaner because I just can't do that sort of thing. Even going upstairs is difficult. But despite her compromises, Sue Snelson believes that in 2023, she has reason for optimism. I decided to take some time off, which I have done, but I have just agreed to go back and I'm going to be working one day a week in pre-assessment, which I'm really looking forward to. I just don't like not being at work. Does it feel like a road to recovery? Yes, it does. I feel like I'm, I'm getting back to normal, as much as normal can be for, for me from now on. So what advice then does Sue have for other people who are also suffering from long COVID? Don't lose hope. Just keep very positive that things will get better.